One of the most common questions I get from clients is how do I price my product? So obviously joining Etsy is free and selling the items is actually one of the cheapest marketplaces online. So I just want to go over the fees for you. So to list a product on Etsy, it's 20 cents. And that listing is going to last for four months or until the item sells. Then you pay another 20 cents to relist it. Then Etsy's commission is 3.5%. You also want to remember to factor in your PayPal or credit card fee, whatever the customer checked out with. So PayPal is 2.9% plus 30 cents per sale, or for international it's 3.9% plus 30 cents. Then for Etsy's direct checkout, when someone checks out with a credit card, there's a 3% fee plus a 25 cent per transaction fee. This is for both US and international orders. One area a lot of my clients clash with me on is making your shipping free. I've read multiple, multiple studies where customers say the reason they abandoned their shopping cart was because they didn't qualify for free shipping or they were overcharged for shipping. One of the more recent stats was from entrepreneur.com and that was 51% of shoppers. So don't even make this an issue and just factor the price of shipping into your retail cost and set your shipping to zero dollars. Let's look at a pricing example. So let's say you're building a custom wood shelf that costs $5 in materials and an hour to make. And your time's worth $15 an hour. So you need $20 minimum to break even on this shelf to pay for your cost of goods sold, or COGS. So a rule of thumb for retail markups is a full 200% markup from that cost. So this means you can sell your shelf for $80 retail and have the option to eventually sell it to other retail stores at a wholesale price. So say if you get into Bed Bath & Beyond with your product, you can sell to them for 40 and then they will sell it for 80 So again, these margins can change product to product, but this is just a good rule of thumb as starting point. So after many marketing classes, I would never price this at 80 I would price it at $79.99. And now let's break down my final net profit. So $79.99 minus $12.95 for a priority mail medium flat rate box. You could save a little money here and do just first class USPS, but I'm all about making my customers happy. I'll pay another $4 for two day priority mail. Next I have to multiply that 3.5% plus 20 cents times the retail price to get my Etsy commission and listing fee. So that's $3. And then let's say the buyer checked out with Etsy direct on their credit card. So do that 3% math times the retail price plus 30 cents so that's $265 for Etsy direct checkout, and then minus that $20 COGS or cost of goods sold. So we're looking at $41.39 profit for each shelf we sell. So let's go into detail on how to add a product to Etsy. So once you're signed in, click your shop, quick links, add a listing. Once we're on this add a new listings page, just go step by step and fill out everything that's required. Again, five photos minimum. Make sure they're high def photos. Look at the dimensions. 1000 pixels is what's suggested. So that's a pretty good sized photo. Next we go to the title. This is where I said it's very important to use keywords. I like to use a keyword dash keyword dash keyword for my item title. So say we're selling that leather jacket vintage leather okay so obviously capitalize the first letters clean this up make it look good but we still have 83 characters we could probably do one more keyword maybe a long tail keyword you find on Google Keyword Planner but look at this we have leather we have vintage we have authentic we have coat a lot of good keywords in here but again, we want to back check and make sure we're using the most highly searched keywords. So next, about this listing. Who made it? I did. A finished product. And then recently, what year? Choose your category. This one's clothing. Our price, we'll say it's $80 for this jacket. Quantity, you can actually manage the quantity. Let's say we have seven. It's a physical product. This is, for example, if someone had a graphic design that they were selling, maybe a cutout or a thank you card, something that they could send a template to you for. But this is a physical. This will be coming in the mail. Now, description. It's the first 
160 characters. That's what really matters here. Remember, this is going to be your meta description. So have a nice little sales pitch. Include at least three to four keywords within that 160 characters. So it's kind of like the first paragraph. So description, what is the product? Three to four keywords. Then press enter. Add some more details. Go into further. What are the dimensions? What are the specific materials used? Answer every question you would want to know as a buyer. So once you have this description done, you can see preview listing as a Google search result. This is what I was talking about. The first 160 characters, that's the Google search result. So you can see here, here's our product title that we entered above, item title, and then it's by, this is our shop name. So that's why it's nice to have a keyword in your shop name, right? And then here was our first 160 characters. This is actually going to spill out to the actual 160, but that's why you want a good paragraph, including keywords, yet being concise about what type of product you're offering. So this preview is a nice thing to test and see, oh, this is what's actually going to show up when people search in Google for these keywords and hopefully find my product because I'm using highly searched keywords. So next you can add variations, say if there's sizes, what's your scale in sizes, other, so we'll go large, medium, and so on. You can delete this, you can say when they're in stock. Again, these aren't required, only if you have variations. So next is shipping, so ships from, ships from the United States, processing time, I like to do the one to three business days. Shipping cost, again, zero, zero. If you're really concerned with international, this is where I will advise charging. So we can do at least seven to eight dollars, and that'll at least cover a first class postage for most smaller international items. Obviously, you wanna check on USPS with the total ounces of your item to see what the estimated cost would be to ship international. So you can have a ballpark of what to put here. One of the most important areas I see people just overlook because it says optional. No, 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 this is a crucial thing. And it says shape, color, style. No, tags are keywords. I'll say that again, tags are keywords. So this is what actually comes up when you use promoted search. I'll be showing you how to do promoted listings in a bit here, but these are the keywords that it pulls from for the Etsy promoted listing. So you wanna use 13 awesome keywords that are highly searched in Google and most fitting to your product. So we'll type vintage leather inner uh, leather jacket. So each keyword, even if it's two to three words or a single word, add each variation, all 13 of them, of what you think your potential customer is going to be searching for. Now materials, again, this really isn't required. At most, I just write what my materials were, leather. But it's tags is the important one. This is short for keywords, okay? Then once we're done there, it's simply preview listing. It'll show you what the live listing looks like, and then we click publish. <laughs>